What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to a new test server session this weekend in War Robots that's filled to the limit with new content. New robot links mixed between Nether and Orochi. Uh, more about this in a sec. We have new weapon stakes, spike, and needle, which are three harpoon weapons with built in Aegis shield generators. Um, we have the new Kestrel drone um, that gives you uh, more damage and speed. The enemy gets death marked, and uh, you get on kill. Fix HP. Remember when I told you that Pixonic's gonna add ridiculously powerful skills to the level 12 skills you only unlock with upgrade tokens? They couldn't even wait two weeks to get that juicy drone feature paying again. Here we are with 30% instant fix on your robot per kill with a drone Kestrel. 30% doesn't sound at all completely overpowered and ridiculous. And no, it doesn't at all sound like the drone feature before the overhaul. No, 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 it's just fine. Uh, the Armadillo drone gives you 8%, by the way. That's its job to support you on kill. This thing whose job support it is to increase your damage also gives you... but. Not 8%, no, it gives you 30% because it's new. Yeah, that's how we roll. Uh, good job, Pixonic, showing us how little you care really about um, how the uh, drones were too powerful and too overflowing. How you just do the same thing after the reset, right? Um, so obviously, 30% is too much. It can't be more than 10, period. Boom. Let's get more at the, to the roulette battleship. We have uh, that add, adds rust and uh, corrosion to the enemy. That's right. And we have a uh, Two support uh, uh, slots, which will be used with uh, durability extender, obviously. Uh, but there is a new turret uh, with uh, that removes slowing, freezing, and lockdown, and grants you immunities. Now, do you know how much uh, shield energy the uh, new built-in uh, weapons have? The new weapons? Yeah, they. Uh, I would. I thought maybe eleven thousand, maybe nine thousand per weapon. No, it's seventy-six thousand shield energy, Aegis. Yeah, that sounds perfectly balanced. Yeah, and. Um, yeah, imagine a behemoth running around with four of them. Let's test all this, ladies and gentlemen, and see how it does, okay? But first, we all love blowing up robots, don't we? And I just finally got my Javelin Rock 8 in Mech Arena today's sponsor and an awesome free-to-play robot shooter for all your mobile devices and PC. As you can see here, I slapped those Javelins on my Killshot robot. With its mobility, it's just a dream to fire those huge homing rockets above cover at the enemy. <laughs> it's the perfect trolling weapon made for me at my playstyle. I don't have the highest firepower and I can't even fire at enemies that are too close to me, but it's really hard to get close to this little fast beast and when they do, I still have a ramming attack up my sleeves. This month features the new holy event with new implant skins and weapons such as the missile rack 16 and the helix rack, the new pilot diesel and with the shamrock slam, the new sentinel mag with a massive shield that would give me and my little javelin a kill shot a really hard time. And mech arena is completely free to play, so what are you waiting for ladies and gentlemen? What a great time to get into it. Use my QR code on screen or the links down below to kickstart your play with a special starter pack worth $30, a rocket motor 6, amateur crate and a skin. And then come find me in the game with my Mech Arena ID on screen. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, 76,000 energy Aegis shield. Who comes up with ideas like this? I don't even understand. Um, but yes, and also who is the one who says, oh, yeah, that idea sounds great. Let's do it. <laughs> How is this possible? Anyways, uh, this is the Orochi. Uh, no, it's called the Lynx, but it looks a little like an Orochi. Um, it's rolling around and it doesn't really look very stable to me. It looks like if you give it a nudge, it will fall over. <laughs> and it has an ability similar to the Nether where the first damage it takes, uh, it will uh, have absorption for a while. Uh, okay. It really is close range, but look at our absorber shield, how long it helps us. So we're now stealthed. Huh? I don't quite get this weapon. Let's get back into cover. Um, how short range is it? Now we're really close. Yeah, it must be absolutely short range. Okay. Must be very short range. And I'm not sure if the weapon is already working f uh, fully because it doesn't seem like we're doing uh, an awful lot of damage to the guy. Uh, by the way, this web, uh, this robot also has a built-in weapon that will damage the enemy. Uh, I think when you activate the ability, though. Oh my god, he has cloaking and he has quantum radar. He has quantum radar. <laughs> okay, we're doing a little bit of damage, but not so much. 
He's not paying attention to me. Oh, yes, the uh, the stealth drone, it looks like. Uh, where is the guy? Come on. Come on, down here. Ah, he's got destroyed. Somebody killed him. There's a nether robot. I don't wanna... I know, sorry, and, um, not nether. So, we're getting faster again. Doing a bit of damage with, a dr with this, uh... <laughs> this is a weird weapon. Maybe it's not fully uh, functioning yet. Um, but yeah, so let's hop into this thing. Uh, the Redeemer does uh, probably more damage. Also, the weapon seem, really seems to have an incredibly short range combat. Oh, nice! Did you see how I just lost? I just got destroyed for no reason. Uh, the test server seems to be having a few little problems here. Um... My last stand first went away. It, it sounds like the battleship heavily overperformed. But yeah, so every time you take damage at first, you're going to take um, little damage. Because uh, it's like the nether robot where you have Im immunities to the first couple of shots you take. Uh, uh, Fafnir is coming in. He's gonna start to fly now, okay. He's got homing bullets. So yeah, it's an Orochi that's not fragile. Remember the problem that the Orochi has is that it's fragile? Well, this one is not. Because it has this, uh, this, this built-in uh, defense. Opa, come on, dude. Yep, there you go. Oh, he goes into stealth now. Uh-oh. Come on. Where- How long, man? Did you see how long he was stealthed? Ow! Okay, so let's walk up here. You can make the craziest shield robot of all times if you run the behemoth with four of these, uh, these crazy weapons. I mean, we don't need to- And then you can run three times four- No. Yeah, you can run three times Fortifier on it. Um, uh, the uh, the uh, Fortifier module and the pilot skills for maximum shields. And you run around with 600,000 uh, um, Aegis shield durability or something like this. I, seriously, at this point, guys, who comes up with ideas like this? It's And, and, and again, who's the, who's the guy who says, yeah, that sounds good, let's do this. Uh, oh, here you see the effect, by the way, of the weapon. It's a really short range. Oh wow, I almost died. Okay. I uh, took some ghost damage again. By the way, my battleship... Oh, I'm using it now. Whoa, look how fast it kills everybody! Dude. Pop kill. Wow, dude, this is also way too overpowered. Uh, I mean, I'm sure with the battleship this is not intended. I'm sure that it's just... They're not done with it yet, it's the beginning and uh, they're, they're still testing the numbers. But, um, you know, it shows pretty well that this uh, is too powerful. Wait a minute, why do I have an Aegis shield now? Ah, it's from the, um, from the battleship support, yeah. No, I'm not gonna walk in there, somebody launched an airstrike. Ah, I have 84% on my, um, on the battleship. Uh, yo, no, that's not what I wanted to do, but, uh, okay. Ah, uh, I almost have the next battleship ready. Let's kill him here. And then see where we land the battleship. He's gonna use his abilities now, yep. So, guy spawns in the base. Maybe this little Mender boy when he's standing there. Okay. All right, are you standing there? No, he's running off. All right, the, uh, this guy with his Titan. Let's see how much damage the Titan will take from it. Oh yeah, he's taking good damage. Yeah, he took a decent chunk. Uh-oh, I think that's an enemy behind me. Yep. Oh my god, he followed me all the way over here. I thought my team dealt with him. And there we go. 
I'm not even going to give him this kill, stupid anglers, man. He even builds himself an angler on the test server. Alright, let's fill up that battleship meter one more time. See how little damage I did? It's because he has that, uh... What the heck? This weapon doesn't have a big splash radius. Did you see a pom pom? I lost half my HP immediately. This is, by the way, the real Orochi. Dude, what the heck is going on with his splash radius of his weapon? Uh, these weapons don't really have a big splash radius. That's crazy. Alright, so now we have our Titan. Uh, boom. <laughs> He's gone. I spawned right next to him with the Titan. So. Dropping the shield. Let's reload the weapons. We already fired three shots. Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah, you know you have no chance, I know. It's okay. There we go. Why? Oh, he was also... Okay. Alright, now we're doing this. He's flying up. My reflector is already, was already used. He can now fly up. And I will do zero damage and then we're done. Alright, so this was the test server, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks all you guys for uh, who test to equip anglers, to equip the aethers, and go all full meta on test servers. That's always great. Uh, but yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, we have um, a new robot that seems pretty cool. It's not very fast though. So um, for, in terms of speed, I think it's actually uh, really um, good, well put in uh, and balanced. Um, however, it does sound like... Uh, it, 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 to me, it looks like you give it a little nudge and it would fall over. It could never get up again because it has only wheels. <laughs> it's, it, it seems weird, but yeah, uh, interesting robot. And I, I like the idea of uh, um, of of this uh, a, a little bit of stealth, but only one stealth ability. Not, not like the Orochi with three or more, right? It's one stealth ability that Sam seems fair because he has this built-in uh, defense system that the Nether has, uh, um, where for a while you don't take so full damage. It, it's good. It, it's a good, well-designed robot. It seems, doesn't seem overpowered to me. Um, uh, also, why does it say 80 here? It doesn't go 80. Uh, maybe with the ability? Um, because it's slower than the Orochi, and the Orochi says 69. Um, then these weapons, um, I think in terms of gameplay, they're maybe not fully refined yet. They're, they seem a little weird. Uh, they don't seem to work all the way, and even if you do get close, they don't seem to be doing a noticeable amount of damage. So probably still some tuning that has to be done here. Obviously, also the number 76,000 is just a bad joke. I mean, is April already? No, it's, not, it's still March. Um, but yeah, I... Nah, uh, this just seems completely crazy to me. Um, uh, as again, if this is ten thousand, okay. And and even then, it's important that all these stakes you put on top of each other, all these shields, they uh, it's important that they will have their separate shields rather than all having an individual shield, right? Because that means every rocket will have to drop every shield before you can finally. No, that would be crazy. So it needs to add up to one shield, if possible, right? Um, so that would be important. Then of course here with the drone, the Kestrel drone. The unfixed 30% again, April Fool's joke earlier or something. If the uh, Armadillo drone, whose job it is to literally give you boosts on kill, gives you 8%, how can this one have 30? That is completely out of the question. Out of the question. It's simply out of the question. Period. Not going to happen, guys. Not going to happen. 30%, uh, 10%. It cannot be more. It cannot be more, or it will declassify what the drone uh, Armadillo is supposed to do. And that's again its job to give you on kill bonuses. And this one is supposed supposed to give you bonus dam uh, increased damage uh, with death mark and your speed and your and so on this thing is a byproduct and that's never going to be able to be po more powerful than the ones from the armadillo drone otherwise it's just a bad joke um the battleship seems okay um however uh, n the the numbers need to be changed because it, it just kills things instantly obviously uh something is wrong with it it, it apparently has way too much uh, corrosion and rust and whatever um and um double support is tricky because people will have double durability extender on the live server then um 
which will be crazy. Um, but yeah, so let's do this. Let's put the uh, durability extender in just for the uh, for the looks. And uh, also, again, thanks for Mech Arena for sponsoring this video. Really appreciate it. Helps the channel out a lot. So go ahead, try it out, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you haven't done it yet, it really is a fun game. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one and catch you in the next video. Money signing off. Bye-bye.